concept getters how are you guys i hope everything is going well i don't want to waste time and data so i'm just going to go straight to this type of question they want us to present uh, a hyperbolic function in this form so they gave us this one here they gave us this one here and they want us to present it in this form so guys the first thing that you have to consider every time when you're giving a hyperbolic function in this form is that we need to have right the first the first thing let me put it like this we need to have uh two terms in your numerator that are going to look like the two terms in the denominator and then you're gonna add the two terms in your numerator or you're gonna subtract a particular term that's what you need so let me show you let me just go straight to it okay the first step to do a question like this is to do what you're gonna consider this part here you see 5, and then you're going to consider the coefficient of x. You're going to say the product of those two numbers, like 3 multiplied by 5, is going to give me 15, right? Once you get the 15, you're going to say, I'm going to represent this negative 17 in, term, in terms of 15. Meaning, where I see negative 17, I'm going to substitute by 15 plus something else. Let's see, for an example, I have 17 is equal to 17 is equals to 15 plus 1 how did i get my 15 again you just take this part you multiply the, by the coefficient of x then you say the answer is 15 and then that answer will will be represent will represent 17 i don't know if i make sense so you're gonna say 17 equals to 15 plus what plus 2 so this 15 plus 2 is just is not random do i make sense you get it by taking this multiplying by this and you say it's 15 so then after doing that, you're going to say, but remember, guys, I have a negative 17 and here I have a negative 5. Do I make sense? Which means I need a negative 15 and I need a negative 17. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to substitute neg uh, 17 by negative, which means I need to multiply both the terms by negative 1. Then I'm going to say it's going to be negative 17 equals to negative 15 minus 2 because negative negative distribution which means now where i see negative 17 i'm going to substitute by this here by this by this in the box so negative 17 will be substituted will be substituted by what by negative 15 minus 2 that that's that like that's the trick part guys do you make sense so now we're gonna go back straight to answering the question now which means i'm gonna say my f of x is equal to what 3x minus remember now i don't have negative 17 but i have what negative 15 minus 2 which means where i see negative 17 i will substitute by negative 15 minus 2 because negative 15 minus 2 is negative 17 clear right and then you're gonna say all over x minus 5 now, the question could be, why am I changing negative 17? And why did I multiply 3 by 5? It's because I need these two terms to have their own fraction on the side. You'll see when, it, when, when you continue. Okay, then the next step now is going to be what? You're going to say the next step is you, you, you take these two terms and then you factorize. You take out the common factor, right, in your numerator. So you're going to say, I will have 3 into x minus 5. Close. You see the x minus 5 that I wanted. Do that make sense? And you say minus 2 on the side all over x minus 5. Now, can we agree that we have two terms in your numerator? Remember, this is a term and this is a term. According to fractions algebra, when you have a plus b all over c, all over one denominator, you can just say this over this and this over this on the side. Do that make sense? So you can just say... A, A over C plus B over C on the side. This will take, basically the denominator will, dist will, will distribute the numerators. That's how it works. Because if we had the same denominator, we can just add the numerators and go back to this. So that's the concept I'm going to apply now. I'm going to take 3 into X minus 5 minus 2 and separate them and have two fractions. So I'm going to have what? I'm going to have 3 into x minus 5 close all over x minus 5. 
right? And say minus 2 over x minus 5. So I separated my two terms. My a and my b are basically 3 into x minus 5. And my b will be 2. And then I just separated the denominator, which is x minus 5. Right? Now, guys, you can see the trick now, which means now I can just say this cancels this, which means I'm going to be left with what? I'm going to be left with 3 minus 2 over x minus 5. Does it make sense? And you, you can say, therefore, f of x is equal to, I will start with this one and say what? And say equals to negative 2 over x minus 5. And then the 3 is positive, right? So I'll just write plus 3, then I'll say plus 3. And as you can see, concept gets us that my p is this part, my q is this, and my a is this. According to here, p, q, a. So that's what they wanted. They wanted it in a form of a over x minus p plus q, which means I have my a as my negative 2, and my p is 5, and my q is 3. And therefore, you are done. Remember, guys, remember the first step is to multiply what? Is to multiply 5 by 3 to get 15. So that you can now represent 17 in terms of, in terms of 15 plus something else. That's the trick part, guys. That's the trick part. That's where people get confused. How do I know? Uh, come on. I don't think concept getters are going to ask that question because they watched this video and they're going to pass. But remember, guys, remember, remember what? Let's go in here. Let's go in here. And we're going to do what? You guys are just going to do this. Come on, guys. You're going to do this so that you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. And you're going to do what? You're going to like because you are a nice person. You're going to comment with gratitude or tell me what else you would like me to record a video, record of a video of. And most importantly, because you guys are not selfish, you love seeing others, your classmates and your mates and your friends passing as well, you're going to share this with your mates, with your teacher, with everyone, guys, so that everybody can see the trick and pass mathematics. Guys, the main purpose is to make sure that math is easy for everyone. Thank you.